Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the drivability and basically whether or not you should cam your Corvette C6 Z06. So, well, let's find out. I think so. Okay, so why else do you need a cam in your car? Well, so you can do this. special and a lot 
lot more, you know, it feels more of an event, let's just say that, especially with the cam. So right now I have my foot off the throttle, we're about 1500 RPM, you know, that's a pretty sensitive spot in the tuning as well. If you don't have a good tune on the car, the car is going to want to fuck when the, uh, when the, your foot gets off the accelerator. So I would say for the most part, this camshaft is definitely more dependent on the tune itself. You start going to a bigger camshaft, you know, you end up with a tighter loop separation angle. You know, you give up, you know, you start to give up a lot more in drivability. Um, like I said, this is not a huge camshaft by LS7 standards, but it's still not what I would call, you know, small. So right now we're cruising fifth gear. Uh, we're going about, what, 56, 57 miles an hour, turning about 1,800 or, yeah, 1,800 RPM. So now I'm going to take my foot off the gas. The car is just going in, you can hear, you know, foot's on the brake, now we're going down 1200 RPM clutch in, you know, hardly any difference over stock, so, um, now we're going to move in a little bit to maybe some of the slower speed stuff, and that's definitely where a camshaft can definitely make or break a drivability in a car as well too so we're gonna pop into a parking lot and just put around you know and show you you know what's the drivability at slow speeds okay so now we're in a parking lot and like I was saying you know a camshaft can really make a noticeable difference when you're driving around very slowly so right now we're just gonna pop into first gear we're gonna put around the parking lot uh, this would be typical of like a stop and go traffic situation. So you would, you know, if you were to do that or even just practically parking the car. So right now we're sitting at 185 degrees at a coolant temperature. Let's see what our oil temp is. We're at 135 degrees oil temperature. So the car's not completely warmed up. For the most part, we can just call this, this is warm enough. This is basically what the car would feel like. Um, I do have a 160 stat on the car too, and the fans are tuned, tuned to come on a little bit earlier, so um, that's the, one of the differences in my car, which maybe you still run the stock thermostat, so. Okay, let's pop into first gear, and let's let the clutch out a little bit, a little bit of a revs. Okay, clutch out, we're at 1100, okay. 1200, 1300, a little bit of a, a little bit of a buck, not too bad, okay, we're sitting at a thousand, there you go, see, now you can get a little bit of a buck, there you go, see, the stock car is primarily like this too, it comes in a little bit lower, but you know, the primarily where the bucking and the surging comes in at slow speeds is well beyond below 10 miles an hour so right now we're not even going seven miles an hour my foot is just slightly on the gas a little bit okay now we're just circling around the parking lot you can see in the picture I'm bucking and going back and forth and this is around 1100 rpm you know you wouldn't be driving around like this you would be using a little bit more clutch and that's one of the you know that's one of the things that you have to do once you have a cam in the car is that you're gonna have to work the clutch a little bit more but in terms of drivability you know below 10 miles an hour you know say you're below 1400 rpm you know you are gonna feel a little bit of the cam um, stock the car was pretty much you know it was almost on par with that it was a little bit lower you could just you know you could get away with you know around 1100 rpm stock on the car so you know we raised it up by 200 rpm you know now you have to do a little bit more clutch work below there so like i said 
about one mile per gallon difference between having a camp car, but I'm still, you know, running stock manifolds, stock cats. Um, you know, this is a very reliable, daily drivable setup. So, hey guys, so I hope that was really helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, I really appreciate, you know, just the viewership. Um, you know, if you're looking to cam your C6 Z06, I highly recommend it. So, without further ado, I'll see you guys later.